Hello and welcome! The PlayStation Vita is home to a great many games, not just original Vita tiles, but also PSP and PlayStation 1 games. And though, much like the PSP, you can easily back up your games to a PC, sadly, you can't view the raw files since they have been encrypted. Which just sucks! If you ever wanted to play a PSP or a PS1 game on an emulator, maybe just poke around the game files for fun, you can't. But thanks to homebrew developers like Yendafu, I'll put it up on screen, you can easily decrypt your Vita games and basically do whatever you want with it, just like you could before. But before I get into that, a quick message from this video's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by 16-Bit Games. 16-Bit Games offer a variety of games on both Android and iOS. You can play them for free, and if you like them, you can buy them completely ad-free on both platforms. If you are interested or want to support the channel, why not check out our games today from the links in the description below. Now before we begin, as always, please only do this with titles that you have the legal rights to access and to use. Just because you can download files and extract and play around with them from the internet doesn't mean that you should, since that is illegal and is considered piracy. Same with distributing and sharing it. If you want to know more, please check our video or extra credits video about the matter, as it is quite technical. But if you are planning on doing it with your own games, if you want to extract them, all you'll need is a computer, a way to back up your games to said computer with either the official content manager or QCMA, the PSVIMG tool files, which you can download from the GitHub page, and the digital Vita game which you wish to extract. It has to be digital since game card Vita games are actually stored on the card itself. Now. You'll first need to download your Vita game, install it to your system, and then you can put it onto your PC. If the game's already downloaded, don't worry. By putting and backing up your game to a computer, it will do two things for us. The first is it will back up your game to the PC, making the files accessible to us. The second is it will give us your PS Vita's public ID, which can be used to get the PS Vita games private key, which will be used to decrypt our encrypted games. So, to get that public key, you'll need to go into the Vita's Backed Up Games folder, and then you're going to get that Vita's folder name, which is a giant string of text. That will be your Vita's ID. Then what you'll do is you'll copy the ID and paste it onto the cmahenkaku.xyz site, press the generate random key and the string that it will give you is the your Vita's private key and now that you have your Vita's private key you're ready to back up the game that you want so go in back into your Vita's backup folder find the game you wish to back up and if you can't identify it or you're not using QCMA, which is really essential to finding these games, you can always just copy the game's ID and Google search them, and usually some database will tell you what game you're looking at is. Once you find the games app folder, go through it and find the PSVIMG file. That is your PS Vita game data. Finally, you're going to open the PSV Image Tool folder. If you haven't downloaded already, please download and extract that. And when you're in the folder, you're going to need to open a command line here. So, in Windows, you can do this by going into the top bar, typing in CMD. And once that's done, your terminal should pop up. In the terminal, you're going to need to type in PSVIMG-extract. After, you're going to type in a dash K and then you're going to paste in your Vita's private key that we got earlier. In Windows, if you're wondering how to paste, it's uh, right-clicking and old Windows will just paste it in for you. Next, you're going to copy in the file location of the PSVIMG file and paste it in immediately after that key. You can get a location of a, any file in Windows by holding down the shift 
and right clicking on the file, a new option will appear that says copy as path. When you get that file, just paste it in with a right click. Finally, type in the output directory for your game. Any folder will do, but I personally just use a dash forward slash command since that will place the files directly into the PSV AMG folder which is already open for me. Press enter and watch the magic happen. If everything was typed in correctly, you can see your game file being extracted one at a time into the output folder. And presto, you are done. Your game has been decrypted and the files are ready for you to peruse. This method I've tested and I know it works for play both PlayStation Vita, PSP, and PS1 encrypted games. I found this method to be very useful if you don't have a hacked Vita to go and just peruse the files, but with that said, it's going to be a variety of usefulness for certain individuals. Vita games will be the less helpful since most games have their files encrypted or compressed, which makes it very difficult for you to peruse and get, let's say, the game soundtrack from it. While other games like PSP and PS1 games are just that, encrypted PSP and PS1 games. If you can get your hands on the PvP, you can easily play it in some PS1 or PSP emulators. But even then, if you've seen our guide for how to extract uh, discs for PS1 and PSP games, uh, you will be able to uh, get the ISO or the BenQs from either of those, but that's really depending on what you're trying to do. But anyways, thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do hope you uh, it helps you doing whatever you need to do with extracting PS Vita games. But as always, I hope you have yourself a good day, and take care.